Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Chinese media has claimed that China has mastered the wind tunnel testing technology and is decades ahead of the rest of the world. Chinese researchers reveal a new facility capable of simulating flight at 30 times the speed of sound and will be ready soon. The hypersonic test facility is named as JF-22. The power produced by JF-22 will be 7 times more than the Hoover Dam in the United States. But before we move ahead, let's first try to understand what is wind tunnel and the importance of wind tunnel testing. Wind tunnels are large tubes with air blowing through them. It is used to replicate the interaction between air and a flying object. The wind tunnel helps to learn more about how an aircraft will fly and its aerodynamic performance. India will also be performing wind tunnel testing of the scale model of TED BF and MK, its fifth generation fighter jets. While designing a fighter jet, first the conceptual design of the aircraft is virtually tested using high performance computers. The data is collected corresponding to the aerodynamic performance of various features of the aircraft. With the help of data, a concept jet for wind tunnel testing is created. The wind tunnel test is the key to define and finalize the design of the fighter jet. Some wind tunnels are large enough to even contain full-size version of vehicles. The wind tunnel moves the air around an object making it seems as if the object is flying. Recently, an article was published related to the new wind tunnel test facility JF-22 in South China Morning Post. The article quoted a Chinese researcher Han and his statements from the online lecture about the hypersonic wind tunnel test. Now let's see what Han and indirect China is claiming. The hypersonic wind tunnel test is located in Beijing that has capabilities that would put China about 20 to 30 years ahead of the West. The tunnel would produce power of up to 50 gigawatts, nearly 70% of the installed capacity of world's largest hydropower station, Three Georges Dam, in China's southwestern Sichuan province. The Chinese hypersonic test facility uses unique technology for wind tunnel testing that sets them apart from the rest of the world. JF-22 uses the chemical explosions to create hypersonic conditions in the tunnel unlike the facilities in other countries which uses mechanical compressors to generate high-speed airflow. The fuel burns 100 million times faster than a conventional gas stub, generating shock waves similar to those encountered by airplanes at hypervelocity in high altitudes. Each plane or weapon model has to undergo 10,000 tests in the tunnel before being declared operational. Han has simulated flight of up to Mach 7 with the simulation lasting 30 milliseconds. The JF-22 has the capability to sustain such runtime for an average of 130 milliseconds with a much higher top speed. Since JF-22 can afford a longer experiment time than existing test facilities currently operating in the world, it can accommodate larger vehicles and experiment can be more advanced than the existing tunnels can afford. The launch date of JF-22 is yet to be released. However, it will work along with JF-12, an already operational test tunnel with about a fifth of power output where the flight conditions at both lower and higher atmospheric altitudes are assessed. But how true is the Chinese claim? We all know that China has been very vocal in bolstering its technology. Let's check a few more facts. The Eurasia Times had discussion with researcher and professor Chris Combs, an expert on hypersonic and aeronautical engineering from San Antonio. Let's try to understand what is his opinion on the tall claims of the Chinese expert. The JF-22 hypersonic tunnel ignores the presence of a wide variety of decade-old facilities around the world. In terms of defense versus space, when they talk Mach 30, that's pretty much exclusively space. There are a lot of different ways to get Mach 20 plus with several facilities present around the world that can do that. With that said, they can likely run the test facility at lower Mach numbers for the defense centric applications. Most hypersonic test tunnels have existed since Cold War to test space vehicles and missiles in United States. 
NASA has built many such facilities over the decade to study countless rockets and spacecraft that space agency sent to space. The article does not mention how they will handle the fact that a detonation-driven shock tunnel will alter the air chemistry to the point that Aero will no longer be a representative of flight. With the race over hypersonic vehicles gearing up, many countries are aggressively pushing for advanced test facilities that allow simulation at faster speeds. The test tunnels are key to understanding the behavior of atmosphere and its effect on the hypersonic objects as they whiz through it. Countries like Russia and China have reportedly developed and even deployed the hypersonic weapons and are also working on developing air defense systems that can counter them. Russia claimed to have achieved that with its recent announcement of the induction of S-500 air defense system which is soon scheduled to be operationalized. In September 2020, India has also achieved a key milestone with hypersonic flight when DRDO flew its hypersonic test demonstration vehicle HST-DV at a speed of Mach 6 for more than 22 seconds. In December 2020, Indian Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh inaugurated India's first hypersonic wind tunnel capable of testing missiles and aircraft. The state-of-art hypersonic wind tunnel test facility is a pressure vacuum-driven enclosed free jet facility having nozzle exit diameter of 1 meter and will simulate Mach number 5 to 12. Mach represents the multiplication factor to the speed of sound. After USA and Russia, India is the third country to have such a large facility in terms of size and operating capability. It is an indigenous development and an outcome of synergetic partnership with Indian industry. The facility has capability to simulate hypersonic flow over a wide spectrum and will play a major role in the realization of highly complex futuristic aerospace and defense system. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.